Hello, it's me again, and uh, we're finally getting into uh, this little edition of ghosting. So let's get into it. I have fun. Okay. Ah, murdering spaghettis. So, if you've ever been ghosted, you know it sucks balls, and not in a good way. So I have been ghosted a lot in the last while, and it has been a uh, fun thing to deal with. Mm, frustrations. So what is ghosting? I need to read off the sheet because I did the research and I don't want to. Ghosting is the practice of ending a personal relationship with someone by suddenly and without explanation withdrawing from all communication and ignoring any attempts to reach out from said person. This has become a practice. <laughs> like doctors practice medicine. <laughs> Why do we ghost? Before you take it too personally, what other people choose to do, regardless how you feel about it, has nothing to do with you. What does that mean? It's not personal. You didn't do anything wrong. They just don't know how to communicate or don't feel comfortable communicating, so feel best not to. It sucks, huh. but knowing that takes some of the pressure off. That being said, here are some reasons why someone might ghost. It's a way to end short-term relationships. Convenience, faded attraction, undesirable interactions or safety, avoidance of conflict, explanation, or self introspection. Next page. So, if you have been ghosted, you realize how it plays with your brain. It's, uh, it, it does do stuff to the person on the other end. And so what are some of those things that it can do? It can cause you to question your self-worth. You can feel used, disposed of, and disrespected. It can wreak... What are you guys doing? It can wreak havoc on your self-esteem. It can create a lot of mental conflict and confusion. It's heartbreaking and traumatic. So you might wonder, does the ghoster feel anything after doing the ghosting? Studies have found that the ghosters do, in fact, experience negative consequences afterwards. They can feel anxious and awkward and guilty. <laughs> sure, sure. Yet they continue to do it. They worry of running into the person after, as well as knowing they hurt someone's feelings. This doesn't mean they regret the behavior. <laughs> Go figure. Won't do it again because most people who use the tactic feel it's kinder than the direct rejection. However, anyone who has been ghosted knows that's not true. And so you might be wondering, what can you do about it? Like you're being ghosted by somebody currently or have in the past and are still kind of dealing with those negative emotions or, you know, kind of doubts and all that stuff regarding yourself. This is a quick Little Google search as to top six reasons or top ugh, top six ways of dealing or coping with being ghosted. One, don't chase or try to find the person. Don't don't try to look for them online or or see they're online and start messaging them like crazy. Just just don't don't. <laughs> it's not it's not healthy. For, for you. Say what you need to say and, and move on. If you feel if you feel the need to say something like, I know you're ghosting me, and you know, like this is this is kind of like ridiculous. But if that's what you feel you need to do, like you do you, boo. And then just exit stage left because it's again <laughs> not worth it. Take some time for some self-care and be kind to yourself. Don't allow what somebody else has done to you reflect on yourself because, like I said in the beginning, it honestly has nothing to do with you. It just shows the lack of maturity from the other person or, you know, lack of whatever from the other person. Just because someone else doesn't know how to love doesn't mean that you are not lovable. Maybe avoid dating sites if that's where you're finding you're being ghosted the most. I, I've never personally been on a dating site just because I am naive as 
So I just, I avoid dating sites entirely. I get enough uh, ghosting just from people that I know. So we just, <laughs> no. Face the reality that, you know, it, it is what it is. And you've been through other things that you didn't think that you'd get through and you manage to find a way to get through it. So you'll get through this too. It might not feel like it at the moment, depending on how current this uh, this thing is, is, is happening, but uh, know that, that it, it will pass. Yeah, that's, I guess that's everything there. From my own personal experience, I have, uh, I have dealt with this in many different ways from people that I actually like, I've known for years just up and just gone. I haven't heard from someone in like five months now that we were basically, yeah, like we're <laughs> freaking doing things together and everything like that. We're supposed to, you know, be, be friends after and it just, yeah, just gone just like that. So that's, that's fun process to deal with. And just again, realizing like, like they got their own life going on. They're doing their own thing. They're doing what they feel they need to do in order to be happy with, with their life. So there's, there's that I've been, I've been ghosted by people that like, I, I thought we were, you know, in, in a relationship, but then like, maybe we weren't, that's, you know, that communication thing kind of is, is needed in, in regards. I've been, uh, I've been ghosted by, by friends, um, I just people, I have ghosted people. A lot of the times my reasoning for ghosting people is because it's just like, I, like you're, you're, you don't know me. <laughs> you're, you're just, you're talking to me for whatever reason or just trying to basically insinuate like a conversation. I don't know if you're, you're bored or, or whatever, but like we don't know each other. I've never physically met you or, or anything like that. I can see like you have a girlfriend and you're telling me I'm hot. And it's just like, um, no, <laughs> not playing those games. Or it's just like, it's, I'm uncomfortable talking. I am an extreme introverted person, even though I kind of am like <laughs> fanatics and stuff like that. I, I have a hard time communicating with people that I don't know. So it's like, if, if you're one of those people watching this and like you've messaged me or something like that, <laughs> know that again, it has nothing really to do with you unless you're, you know, one of the people that have other people like relationships and then you're, you know, trying to insert yourself into this. That sounded so wrong. I didn't mean it like that. Anyways, I'll probably edit that out or put it in the bloopers. I don't know. Back on point here. Ghosting has become a phenomenon as of late. And as convenient as the tactic may be, if you have ghosted somebody, know that the mental effects of such a tactic to, I don't know, make things easier for yourself does have negative consequences on the other person. As tough and difficult as it may be, having that discussion with somebody, regardless of the, the reasoning behind it, whether, whether it is like you just, you're no longer attracted to the person or, you know, you don't feel safe in such interactions and things like that. Be honest, be upfront. Honesty is the best policy. And you know what? If after that, like say the, like the other person just keeps talking and stuff like that, you have every right to just ignore, block, delete, whatever you feel you need to do to, you know, keep yourself and, and your own mental well-being secure. But if, if you are a person that is, that's just their ploy, you know, you talk to somebody for a couple of weeks, get in close and then just decide to, you know, hit the dusty trail, you jerk face. <laughs> like whatever your reason may be, like if you, if you've had trauma, you have abandonment issues, you've got, you've got some stuff going on that you need to work on yourself and just like know that it's not, it's not cool. It's not cool and we need to uh we need to kind of end end that. I will uh I will also try, even though I, I'm not very good at it, to just let the person know, you know, thank you, but no thank you. And I would appreciate the discussions to end on that manner. So yeah, that's uh that's what I got with this uh ghosting deal. I hope you uh hope you guys have a fantastic day, week, month. 
whenever I see you or you see me again. And until then, be happy, guys. Bye. Yeah, kind of works. Just want you to murder and murder. stay where I want you to stay. Okay, now where's the paper? Here, paper, 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 paper. I think I've had all this stuff figured out before getting here. I should do a costume. Get out of that. What are you doing? I don't have the heart to, uh... Cut up a sheet, so, uh... <laughs> oh, this is funny. Don't do it, kitten. <laughs> All right. Don't do this at home, kids. I don't know how this is going to look. Hopefully, it kind of works. Oh, you know what? I have to take this off. Make me all look white. I'm gonna have to put it back on because it's chilly. <laughs> it kind of works.